Sorry, my kid came in, Aquarius, and I had to restart your reading. I have the wheel for you. It kind of feels like this person you've known before, you've dealt with them before. It feels more like a past person that seems kind of shady. That is, put you into your emotions. Uh, the wheel was in reverse whenever it first came out. Oh, sorry, I got a new phone, so I don't really know how this is turning out on the screen. I got one of those flex ones that fold in half. Uh, but the wheel in reverse kind of feels like you, you guys aren't really moving forward. They've put you in competition. They've made you feel insecure. They made you feel completely bad about yourself. And they've left you out in the cold. Let's see what else is up. It could have be a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, this is more of a feminine energy, but it could also be a male that has feminine qualities. Like, they get jealous easily. They try to pursue their own dreams, but they don't really put much action to it. Um, it's one of those, they are more, they're more ecstatic about their looks than what they are about doing stuff about it, about what they want. And that's why you probably felt like you were in a competition, like, at the same time. They made you feel like you can, they can have whoever they wanted. Um, you've walked away from this person, or they've walked away from you in their kind of bullshit. We have the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they put you in a third-party situation, but that's also their addiction. It's like they... They're addicted to the attention, or the sexual attention that they get from it. I have the Eight of Pentacles, especially at work. We have the Star. That's your card. And it came out all the way over here. It's like, you're distancing yourself. You already know what this person's about. We have Ten of Cups. They were once your... Your person. And then they weren't. You had so much hope, but then it got boring just waiting on them could be a uh, Taurus Virgo Capricorn